Hey, what's up guys? Today we are continuing automation week and we are pivoting to talking about Amazon KDP. By the way, I know there's a lot of interest in KDP videos. I see it in the video views. So if you guys are interested in me doing more KDP content, please let me know in the comments below. So by the way, KDP, when we talk about KDP, we're talking about basically selling print on demand books on Amazon. All right. We're all familiar with print on demand t-shirts and whatnot, but KDP is actually it can be very complimentary, all right? And if you don't know why it could be complimentary, like what the heck do t-shirts and books have in common, stay tuned for this video. I'm gonna explain it before um, I just dive into the uh, automation aspect of what Power KDP can do for our businesses. But before we even start, I just wanna let you know that if you guys haven't uploaded a KDP book yet, it's painful, all right? Amazon KDP has the longest upload process that I've seen anywhere. Okay, it's 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 long and it's painful. All right. And with the throttling mechanisms that Amazon's implemented, it can be even worse uh, than, you know, really. I don't even know what I'm comparing it to. I, it's been a while since I've manually uploaded a KDP book ever since I've had power KDP. There hasn't been a need to. Okay, so what I'm going to show you, it's going to save you a lot of time. You already know it's automation week. So that's the whole purpose. So why don't we get started? Just a reminder, I've got a link in the description to a web page I put together to house basically one location for everything that we're talking about for Automation Week, all the tools that I use, all the tutorials, you'll be able to find it all on that page. So if you want to bookmark it, not a bad idea. Uh, also, I've got a free giveaway. The link is in the description. It's free to participate, so it takes like 10 seconds. There's no reason not to. And how about this for one? Power KDP is sponsoring a giveaway for this video. So if you stay until the end of the video, I will explain how it works and what's going on. All right, guys. So for anybody that is not familiar with Amazon KDP, but you're interested, you can go to kdp.amazon.com and you can open an account right now. It's not like Amazon Merch where you have to apply and wait. And it's not like Amazon Seller Central where you have to basically apply and then wait for them to make you jump on a video call for identity verification. It's getting a little crazy. Um, you don't need to do that. With KDP, you pretty much just sign up. So it's pretty good deal. And I think that's why there's so much interest in KDP as far as, like I said, YouTube videos go because we can see the, the views as a public metric to kind of evaluate interest. So Amazon KDP is uh, definitely worth considering starting a KDP business, especially, like I said, it can be complimentary to your print on demand business. I will explain and show you how you can kind of streamline the whole thing, the, the conversion. Um, the first thing you should know though, with Amazon KDP, there's really two core components to every KDP book and KDP books are not unique from books in general. Okay. They need a book cover and they need a book interior. As far as covers go, I wanted to make a quick suggestion because this isn't something that we can kind of just brush past really quickly, although this video would honestly be like hours long if I dove into every aspect of KDP for beginners. So I just wanted to mention that when it comes to book covers, guys, you know, you can go to somewhere like Vexels and they have like outright basically book covers you can just use or they have a lot of graphic design elements that you can use to make your own very professional looking book cover that literally is up there with the best of them, right? I, like. You know me, I'm not a great graphic designer. I don't try to lie about it. I mean, I can go do a tutorial and figure it out and make something that's okay, but it takes time, you know, and it, I think it doesn't really take money, but with Vexels, you can literally just kind of go and Hey, look, it's done, you know, done for me, done for you. Uh, and you can request graphics by the way too. So it's not a bad deal. I'll put a link to Vexels in the description. All right. As far as the interiors go, this is a wild card because you can write your own interiors. You can do like what we call high content books. Those are books in the traditional sense where you're actually like typing out, you know, word for word and, and writing something, writing information or writing stories or whatever it is. You can hire ghost writers. I mean, there's, there's, there's options. Um, you can talk and then have somebody transcribe what you said. Uh, there's a lot of options for interiors, but there's also low content books. And this is where a lot of the people like me who have a print on demand business, but want to get involved with KDP. This is where kind of, we can make a, a little splash with, uh, with our KDP business. There's quite a few places you can go to get, um, well, I don't know. I don't want to say free interiors, but if you sign up for power KDP, uh, they definitely have some interiors. I'm not sure if they're free or not. Cause I was already logged in, but they have a rich interior library. So just between honestly between vexels and, and power kdp like vexels for the cover and you don't i mean you don't even have to use vexels but i'm if you want like a really professional looking cover um they've got really good graphic designers so you know or you do it yourself but remember time is money it's gonna take time either way got your cover check got your interiors check like you can just download these 
and if you choose to you can edit them but you don't have to um you know sometimes i'll edit them and i'll add like a cover a cover page just to make it unique because i always wonder if the amazon algorithm sees like the digital signature of the interior file and the one i uploaded is the same as other people's and then maybe i don't know maybe it gets docked in search results i'm not sure just speculating uh because in theory that would be possible if you do something like add a cover page you're changing the digital signature of your book and it's going to be unique so you don't have to worry about that if it is a thing um also book bolt very popular in the kdp space uh they've got a bunch of free interiors they also have interiors that are not free they're kind of all mixed together however this page is pretty well hidden on their website it's like you got to log in and again by the way free but you got to go to like resources interior wizard resources interior wizard and then i think you have to click interior wizard again as a button on the page and then it should take you here okay uh so if you do that you can download more interiors right so and then of course vexels also has a bunch of premium interiors so you ba- you know you're in good shape as far as books go okay now it's automation week and now we're going to start talking about automation but i did want to cover the cover and the interior before we got there right because i know somebody who's watching this video and hasn't done kdp before is like well what the heck do we do as far as providing those things right you gotta you gotta make them um so now you have some options all right guys when it comes to uploading it takes forever all right it takes forever when we're doing a t-shirt upload let alone amazon kdp which is a three-step upload process and requires quite a few inputs now what's great about power kdp is that not only are we outsourcing the uh, tedious manual upload process but we're up we're, we're outsourcing it to software and the software what's cool about software is it can work 24 hours a day uh, my preference is to run the uploader at night while i'm sleeping all right because then i don't have to worry about like I mean, it's kind of crazy what I've had to like evolve as a process, but you know, ever since Amazon's gotten crazy with the the throttling where they don't want us like hitting their server uh, too often with too much information. Um, what I realized is like, I can do my merch uploads during the day, KDP uploads at night. All right. And you know, I'm using these automation tools. So it's not like I'm actually doing it myself. I just queue up the spreadsheets and let it go to town. Um, and with power KDP, I typically just run like three tabs at a time. It's a setting. You can tell it how many tabs you want to run in parallel at a time. What I found works best for me is three, but I've heard people do more than that. So you gotta figure out what works for you. And what I really love about Power KDP too is it has the ability to kind of like error correct. Like if you, if it does hit throttling, it can just kind of wait it out and then continue. Um, so it doesn't just get hung up. And then if, you know, if you're sleeping and 15 minutes after you went to sleep, it got hung up and then boom, you missed all your uploads. No, it keeps going throughout the night. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, and that's why it's my preferred uploader i don't just say this for no reason like it's actually really good you've heard me talk about it before if you're subscribed to the channel but it's been a while that's why i'm happy to do this automation week thing i'm excited you guys know i'm a a tech guy i was a web developer before i uh quit my job to do youtube and whatnot so here we go power kdp this is what the uh the app looks like Uh, i themed mine in dark mode so mine's purple if you just recently installed yours it's gonna look uh like light gray but they're both the same thing so the most common use case and i guess before i even show you that you're going to need to use spreadsheets. Uh, it's just a part of the game. Like when we're doing automation, guys, like, by the way, before I started doing automation, I was not good at Excel. All right. When I say not good, I mean, really not good, but like anything else in life, I saw the value in learning and man, I'm happy that I, uh, you know, kind of grinded it out through repetition, got better and better and better. And I'm sure I, I still have a ways to go as far as like learning more about Excel. But when it comes to doing your upload automation for KDP, for print on demand for just about anything and be much more than just upload automation by the way but like knowing how to do some like spreadsheet shortcuts macros etc um it's going to be huge for your business so with your kdp spreadsheet by the way there's a couple x it's not the same as like your you know print on demand spreadsheet you're gonna have to for instance not just link your design that would be for a t-shirt but it's like you link your 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 cover in its finished form and then you link your interior in its finished form and then each row um you can you can change up the cover you can change up the interior change the keywords obviously because they're going to be you know uploaded as a standalone product they're going to get unique asins and whatnot um and you tend not to want to replicate the same product more than once um and one big tip that i've mentioned in every video during automation week that involves spreadsheets is on windows if you select all your files and you hold shift and you right click you will be able to copy as path I keep saying this, but it's really important because number one, it gives you all of your file paths that you can then just go copy paste into your spreadsheet, which works for the cover column and the interior column. 
but then you can also, you know, go into Notepad++ and you can kind of chop off the, you know, prefix and anything afterwards. And you can, if you named your files after the primary keywords, well, then now you've got all the primary keywords and you can then put that in a column in your spreadsheet and you can basically have the spreadsheet um, figured out very quickly and very efficiently. And that is my, it's automation week. That should be all of our goal, right? Not just mine. So wanted to say that one more time. Uh, as far as the spreadsheet, when it's ready to go, guys, your upload spreadsheet, go on over to new upload and then you'll see this prompt and you can either drag and drop your spreadsheet or just, you know, go here where it says new XLSX file. Actually, when you click that, I think it just downloads the template. Um, when you go to browse though, you can also do it that way. When you have your uh, Excel file ready to upload, then behind me, <laughs> I'll hide myself real quick in the bottom right corner that I was covering a second ago, you'll see uh, continue. All right. So when it has the spreadsheet, you'll be able to click continue. And just so you know, if you upload a spreadsheet with errors, it will try to validate everything before it attempts to upload for you. And if something's broken, like your file paths are broken, you'll hear about it right there. You see it in the error log before it even attempts to run. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, Merch Titans uh, print on demand upload automation works the same way. So, all right. And by the way, they have a full tutorial only seven minutes long. It's not like going to give you, you know, all the Excel shortcuts and whatnot, but they do have a full tutorial video on their channel. I will link to that in the description in case you guys want to check that out. Cause, um, yeah, it's going to show you also what you need to know about the app and, um, you know, firing up the, you know, spreadsheets and loading it up and then letting it upload. Also, I wanted to mention that guys, the way I do KDP is kind of might as well call it the lazy way. Right. But I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. Like I literally take my print on demand designs I run them through a converter and for me personally, like the book bolt converter works really well. Uh, like I've used other ones that kind of can error out at times. So, I mean, I'll also drop a link to book bolt in the description. Of course, all the resources I mentioned will just be in the description. I try to do that for all the videos, the book bolt mass converter though. I can drag and drop all of my images for, I mean, not all, I probably do like 50 at a time max. I don't remember if that's cause the tool limits you or if I just do batches of 50, just cause that felt like a good number, but I'll do like 50 at a time. I tell it the cover size because it actually needs to know that. Uh, tell it the page count because that's also important. And then you can select the background color and you can hit start and it will convert your designs into book covers. All right. And then you get to decide what interior to match those up with. And you do all this in your spreadsheet. Obviously, you can go grab the free interiors. It doesn't have to be complicated. Like there, there's much, uh, there's other ways to do KDP, but like at a minimum, if you're already doing print on demand and you're just trying to occupy as much online real estate and make as much money as possible from each one of your designs, this is a no brainer because it's so easy to do, especially with the upload automation. I can't think of a reason not to. Now I wanted to tell you about their power scan functionality as well. So with power scan guys, it will scan your entire KDP book catalog, your live books, your draft books, and it'll put it in a spreadsheet. And when it's in spreadsheet form, you can manipulate the information pretty quickly and pretty easily, generally speaking. For instance, if you wanted to upload, uh, update the pricing of all your KDP books, you could run a power scan, step one, and then step two, perform whatever edit it is to the uh, Excel file, feed it back into Power KDP, and let it go perform the edits. You can do more than just update pricing, but like think about if you have a thousand books and you need to update the pricing on all of them. That would take you forever to do manually with Power Scan and Power KDP take you minutes, right? And then you just let it go, let it go to town, go, go to sleep or do whatever it is you do, let it work, all right? But you can do things like re-upload drafts, edit previous uploads, whether it's in draft or live form, change and update prices and other attributes on all marketplaces, guys. So Power, power Scan is extremely valuable. I don't know how many people were aware it even existed or utilizing it to its full potential, um, but it's got big, more potential than what I've even illustrated here. I just wanted to make you aware that it even exists because it's extremely cool. And one thing I want to shout them out and their developers, because when they initially released this functionality, I had trouble using it because of how many books, like the sheer volume of books I had available for sale on my KDP account. And they worked with me and they worked with their developers and they got it to the point where even though I have a ton of books, it now works when it didn't used to work for me. So I, I always appreciate that, like good developers and people that care about, you know, their product actually working um, for everybody. You know what I mean? Cause I'm sure it worked for the majority of people, but now that it works for me too, I really appreciate that. Cause now I can use the power scan as well. So shout out to power KDP and their developers. And guys, thank you for staying until the end. They did want to sponsor a giveaway. So let me announce really quickly the prizes and then how you can win them. So one person is going to get their strategy book 
which I forget the exact price of the book, but it's worth like a couple hundred bucks, I think, or no, it actually says $50, but it's basically like premium, premium KDP content to help you succeed with your business. Uh, three people will get one month license completely free to use Power KDP for your KDP business. And five people will get the monthly niche report to help you with like, hey, Ryan showed me where I can get graphics for a book and get free interiors, but isn't there something better than that? Yeah, well, if you go to their niche report, uh, it'll give you ideas for like trending themes of the month. So five people are gonna get that as well. Or if you sign up for Power KDP, you get that um, as a part of your subscription. So just so you guys know. Anyways, what I want you to do if you are interested in winning the giveaway and being eligible, just drop a comment on the video on YouTube, okay? Go to YouTube, drop a comment. What I wanna know from you though is, number one, are you selling on KDP? If you are, give me a ballpark estimate of how many books you've got for sale. And if you wanna let me know you know, how successful you've been, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you've not started KDP or you're on KDP but you're struggling, I wanna know what your struggles are. This feedback is really valuable for me and for the people at KD, uh, Power KDP as well. Um, so they know kind of, you know, what problems they can help solve for you. All right. So let us know. Uh, basically, we just want to know, are you on KDP? Are you not on KDP yet? What are you struggling with? And if you're really successful, let us know. We're interested in hearing from you. Thank you guys for watching. By the way, I did write a full Amazon KDP course with my exact process. If you're interested, you can find out more using the link in the description. And guys, thank you so much for watching though. Please like, please subscribe. The YouTube algorithm loves when you guys do that. Everything you need for Automation Week, by the way, is linked to in the description. Just a reminder, shout out to everybody at Power KDP for sponsoring the giveaway. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.